past the world because then I call them the moon walks. I mean, it might help when we get there, but um, what this is primarily for is for blue activation. Um, it's a good way to try and get everything, keep everything all in line um, and activate it and ready to go when you do any glute bar, um, any leg work, um, just to make sure that the posterior is actually starting to um, click in before um, everything in the anterior. These will usually come in for most of us um, way before the back does. So. You've got an option of what type of band and resistance you have. Um, this one's not the heaviest resistance. Um, it's probably in the middle. Uh, there are ones lighter and heavier. And you'll, you'll figure out which one suits you. It's not about being heavy either for this. It's really about activation. So you're going to go feeling first. So I'll show you where to put it in the band. The first option is up on top of the knees. For those that are enjoying it for the very first time, you can put it around shin height, around your calves. Um, again, it's probably medium resistance. I personally like it around the ankles because it really forces me to keep control of my knees to make sure that they're still following in line with my ankles. So I'm going to start off with the crab walk and I'm going to keep it down around the ankles. So what we do is we stand in an athletic stance and what that is is our feet are slightly wider than our hips. We have a slight bend in the knees and we push the bum out and the core is, is on. It's almost like you could take off forward, back, sideways, anywhere from the stance. So once we're here, keeping the knees out in line with the ankles, we're going to push from the outside back. So we're going to push that and take the, um, the one that's leading out to the front. When we bring it in, we want to keep control of the tube. We don't want the tube to control us by throwing our foot back into the body. We want to control that motion. We want to almost slow it down a bit. What will happen is when you get tired, you are going to tuck your pelvis under. And that's what we don't want to do. So you always want to try and push that bum out. Once you do about 10 or so, it's really up to you on how much you get that slight burn in the, in the glute. I'm going to take it back. You are going to probably feel it on one side more than the other when none of us are balanced, completely balanced. But you do want to try and keep it in the derriere, in the glutes, in the booty. Once we get back to the start, what I like to do is stay down low, we turn. This is the one we call the monster walk. 